this. Children with severe epilepsy will be the first patients to receive the drug. Georgia Bartram had her first epileptic seizure when she was two weeks old. They increased in severity until a massive seizure in 2012 led to a stroke. She went from a child that could run around, walk, swim to a child that literally was in a wheelchair for a number of months. Georgia is now making good progress, but Ellie Bartram is relieved to know that new laws passed in Victoria mean medicinal cannabis could be a treatment option in future. Not only for Georgia, but there's people like my best friend, her son has multiple seizures day and night and has no further treatments possible. Under the new laws, the Victorian government will establish an Office of Medicinal Cannabis, which will oversee the delivery of the drug. It will initially be available only to children with severe epilepsy, but could later be expanded. Psychiatrist David Castle says it could be useful to people suffering a wide variety of ailments. Chronic pain syndromes, um, spasm associated with multiple sclerosis, um, nausea associated with chemotherapy. Um, it can also be used um, as an appetite stimulant for people with um, uh, cancer with HIV AIDS. The cannabis will be grown under strictly controlled conditions in a Victorian research facility until larger scale operations can guarantee an ongoing supply. The government will also work with doctors to help educate them on who will be eligible under the scheme. The legislation has bipartisan support, but the state opposition believes the government has created massive expectations about who will be able to access it. The fact is it's going to be at least a year before the first group, that's kids with epilepsy, can access it and a couple of years before anyone else can even start to access the scheme. For parents like Ellie Bartram, access to medicinal cannabis for all those who need it can't come soon enough. It's a no-brainer to me. <laughs> it's all I can say. Sasha Payne, SBS World News. Police and lifesavers.